In this video, we're going to show you how to install valve cover gaskets on your Toyota Camry located on the top side of your engine. On the passenger side of the engine here, there are going to be two 10 millimeter bolts. There's one here and there's one directly on the back side here. When you use our gear wrench, you want to go ahead and loosen these. Go ahead and remove that one there. So on the back bolt here, we're going to loosen it. We're not going to remove it. I'm going to lift up on our harness. We just want to make sure we can get some clearance here so when we remove our valve cover here, it doesn't interfere with that harness. Once we have the harness off to the side, we can go ahead and grab our ignition wires here. We're going to just pop these up. We're not going to remove them yet. Now before we remove these here, you want to make sure that when we go to reinstall these here, that they all go back to the same cylinder. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a misfire issue and a drivability problem. So you can use a piece of tape and write the number of the cylinder they pop out of. I'm just gonna use a Sharpie marker and I'm just gonna put a little one, two, three, and a four. Pop these off, drop them off to the side. There are two hoses we wanna remove from our valve cover. There's one on the front side here, and there's one on the back side that goes to the intake. Move that clamp back. Use our hose pliers, and then grab that, give it a little twist, and then pull on that as you're taking that off. Go on up to the top here. like so. Along the top of our valve cover, we have four 30 millimeter nuts. I'm gonna go ahead and break these free. Spin those off. We will be reusing these nuts, so just set those aside. At this point, we want to go ahead and lift straight up on the valve cover. I'm just grabbing the little port over here and gently lifting up. And what we're doing now is we're working this up. There are spark plug tube seals on the valve cover itself. Work those off. Work that up and off. Now on the cylinder head itself, we wanna go ahead and use some spray solvent on a rag or a towel here. And we wanna go ahead and wipe down where the new gasket is going to seat. You wanna make sure that there's no garbage or debris there. We want to make sure that that has the best possible surface. And while doing this, you want to take precautions to make sure that you don't drop anything down, any garbage or that debris that you're cleaning up into the area where the camshafts are located. We want to go ahead and use some solvent on a rag and clean up the spark plug tubes where the seals are going to go.
Now on the bench here, we have our valve cover and we have our spark plug tube seals. We're gonna take these out. We're going to discard those. And flip our cover over here. And on the bottom side is where we have that gasket. And you can use a small pick, big pick, whatever you got. And grab the edge of that and just run your finger along and peel that up and out. Discard that. We need some spray solvent. And run along here. I'm going to use the pick head here to run through the track, cleaning up any of that residual oil that might have come out or leaked. Clean that up the best you can. Now our new gasket is only going to fit in one way. So we're going to line this up and we're going to start to feed this into the track. So we're going to start at one of the corners here and kind of work that in pushing this into the valve cover. Make sure that's fully seated all the way around. Now when we install this here, we're going to install our new spark plug tube seals on after we install the cover. Now on our rear camshaft here, right where the distributor comes in, there's gonna be a hump right here and there's one on the other side as well. We're gonna use some black RTV and we're gonna put a little dab on our finger and put it right in that little crevice there. It doesn't have to be a lot, just a little bit. And we're gonna do that on all four of these. So on the back side here, in the back side over here. And what the purpose of this here is, is just to seal that gasket right in that little 90 degree arch right there. So you're not putting a ton in there, you're just gonna put a little bit, and that way there when we set our valve cover on there with the gasket, it'll seal up that little crevice. I'm gonna take our valve cover, I'm gonna go ahead and line this up. I'm gonna slowly lower this down into position. Now you wanna keep an eye on that gasket that you had put in the valve cover itself. top of our spark plug tubes. Install your spark plug tube seals. We want to make sure that the metal part is facing upward. And then we'll install the nuts here. I'm gonna use the socket here just to snug that down by hand. Let's go ahead and torque these down to 17 foot-pounds. I'm gonna just 
come on back. Just gonna double check all these here because the gasket does crush down. You can see we're getting a little bit more out of these here. So definitely make sure you go through a few times. You're all set with the torquing. Install our hoses. on the side of the valve cover here. Go ahead and bring your ignition wires back over. Drop those in according to our number pattern here. Make sure you push them down. You'll feel them pop onto the spark plug. I'm gonna take your harness here and drop that down onto the back bolt. Bring that forward one down. We'll get our forward bolt started. And as far as these two bolts go, we just want to gently snug them down. Once they bottom out, just give them a little bit more. Do the same for the back. Gently snug that down. I'm going to just finish snugging this one down. Just double check it. And once you have that secured, you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.